Hey YouTube, it's your girl Lee. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just an update on Biggie. So today makes two weeks that Biggie has been with me. And honey child, things have got better. <laughs> so in my last video, you guys know like the first night I literally got four hours of sleep. And it was literally going downhill. I was waking up at like four or five o'clock in the morning from Biggie just crying. And like... I don't know what to do with him. I was like, yo, this can't be life right now. Like, cause I'm like, I need sleep. So I reached out to friends who are dog, dog owners and they told me like what to do or whatever. So, you know, it basically made Biggie feel comfortable. You know, like he is missing his mom, his dad. The, the one sibling that he did have left over was his sister. He was missing her like in his last like home there were dogs in the house. So he felt loved, I guess. Didn't he get, like, I don't know, like very playful. Like I have two cats, so obviously there's no one here to really play with him but me. But I guess he needed that um, that other dog interaction. But um, he's doing better now. Right now he's sleeping. So I did buy like a crate and made like his own little like room. I'll insert a picture like right here. And um, at first, I, at night I would so let me just backtrack <laughs> so my coworker Nancy told me to put on classical music for him it should calm him down so the first night I played the classical music on my iPad it worked it didn't really work so I was like oh my god what am I gonna do because the ne next day he woke up at 5 30 or whatever so then I reached out to my friend Amber she told me to um put on like go on youtube and look for like musics for dogs so i found a whole bunch of videos it's just it's basically classical music but it's like i guess like more softer or like different melodies or whatever like that so the first night i played on my ipad he cried for 20 minutes i ignored him he went to sleep he did wake up later i think he woke up at like six o'clock which is to start from five to <laughs> five thirty and everything and then from there, I just was like, okay, let me play it on my TV. Play it on my TV. His crying went down from 20 to 15 to 10 to even now five minutes that he'll cry and he'll go to sleep right after that. But lately, I noticed that, like, I have a beanbag in my chair. It's, like, very discombobulated. Like, it needs to be like I guess pumped up or whatever he likes to lay in the, the beanbag chair so the last couple of nights he has not been sleeping in his room he has been sleeping either in the beanbag chair or on the floor but like within the same room as me um everything is off the floor so he's really not um biting on anything like that like I leave his toys around and then he knows when he feels comfortable to go in his bed so he'll lay on a beanbag chair and then he'll be like all right I'm going to my bed and he would literally just go in his bed so when he does sleep in his room I don't lock the door anymore because I want him to have that freedom to if he's sleeping on a beanbag chair I don't I don't want to pick him up and put him in his bed I want him to feel comfortable to be like okay this is my bed this is my room and I need I'm going here like I'm gonna go to sleep here so that's what he usually does and um that's really about it I I am gonna start him on a schedule I did kind of start today we're feeding him three because he got his first round of shots. The vet told me, you know, try to get him on a schedule eating three times a day. And um, then he told me, like, you know, I guess uh, when he turns eight weeks, excuse me, or um, maybe like nine weeks, I could start introducing him to like fruit and stuff. I did ask about wet food. Like we feed our cats wet and dry food. So I wanted to know like if I would be able to do that with him. Because he is still a puppy, he literally only eats, like, I, want, I can't even say half my hand. Like, he doesn't even eat that much. So the doctor told me to give him, like, a spoonful of the wet food. So um, I did put the spoonful in, like, a Kong. I'll enter a picture here, what that looks like. And um, I put it in there. I put it in the freezer. I watched this video that this lady, Rachel 
that's what she does with her dogs like she feeds like, but she's they're on like a different diet or whatever but it's still like wet food so she puts half of their food in like these licky dog bowls or whatever and then a half the other half in the kong that they'll either have for like lunch or dinner or whatever because her dog she only feeds her dog twice a, um, a week i mean twice a week imagine twice a day <laughs> but um I will keep you guys updated more on Biggie. Right now he's doing fine. Like literally I'm just trying to train him. And he did learn, at seven weeks he did learn how to sit, look at me. Right now I'm trying to teach him a little bit of fetch. Um, I am trying to leash train him, not, not really leash train him, just for him to get used to the leash. Because, um, I just want to use it so I can like potty train him. So it's like, so right now, like I did have like a wee pad in the room. When I walk him to the wee pad in the room, he's like, yeah, no, I'm not using the bathroom here. So like I'll walk him to the living room and he'll use the wee pad there. But um, surely I'll come back another two weeks to update you guys on him. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.